What you got there? <laughs> You're not gonna say what it is? You're just gonna hold the box? Well, at least let's see the barcode. Welcome back to the channel. I have something special going on today. We are going to be installing something on Sean's car. And I know a lot of you have been requesting to see more of his car. So today you get to see that. So I got a brand new release part from Radium Engineering. So Radium has come out with a dual fuel pump hanger. And to be really honest, I'm kind of jealous because I have the FCS fuel cell in my car and I cannot use this hanger. This hanger is only to be used in the stock tank. And so I'm a little jelly of Sean right now because this thing is sick. The quality of it and the versatility of everything is just sick like i wish that they came out with this when i had a regular fuel tank because i i don't know i might have considered not changing to a fuel cell and sticking with the stock tank so we're gonna get that installed today so let's go all right so here it is the radium engineering dual fuel pump hanger so this fuel pump hanger is compatible with 92 to 2000 civics aka your egs and eks and also 94 to 2001 integras aka your dc2s the radium fuel pump hanger is basically a drop-in insulation it replaces the stock fuel pump hanger and there's no cutting or modifications required to install it one modification that i would suggest though is to upgrade your wiring the way that this fuel pump hanger is designed it allows you to run any size wiring that you choose and i would recommend using at least 12 gauge wire along with a relay so that you can get the full potential out of your fuel pump when you're ordering this fuel pump hanger there are options for different fuel pumps so that you'll get the correct plug to plug right up to your fuel pump this fuel pump hanger is compatible with many fuel pumps which you can find a complete list on the radium website the fittings that come along with this fuel pump hanger allow you to use either your stock fuel lines or 6AN lines. The top plate of the fuel pump hanger has 8AN ports, so if you wanted to, you could get the swivel fittings that fit 8AN lines. The lovely radium swivel fittings are low profile and they allow for plenty of clearance for the fuel pump access cover to be fitted as normal. This fuel pump hanger has an add-on feature where you can run two fuel pumps. Unfortunately, I don't have that in hand because Sean is only running one fuel pump, but if you take a look at the fuel pump hanger page on radium's website, it will explain everything that you need to know about the add-on for the second pump. The fuel pump hanger includes all of the necessary hardware to install, and get this, it also includes brand new 10 millimeter nuts. How cool is that? Like I always say about Radium, they are so good when it comes to insulation instructions. So make sure you check out their website for the complete insulation instructions that also includes instructions on the dual pump add-on. So we're here in the car. First thing we're gonna do is remove the old fuel pump hanger. It's a mess. Bring your brooms because it's a mess. This is what we're starting with. There's the old fuel pump hanger. Sean already has AN lines. They are dash six. So that will make it very easy to install the radium hanger. And then we got this wiring going on here. You have to change those to the ring terminal. Nice before. Check those seats. 
seats no more. I'm excited about the real <laughs> Yeah, I'll check those seats. It's the reels, bro. The reels are more important. <laughs> EK9 reels OEM are my razor, bro. OEM rails. And check that Cusco sidebar. Alright, so now we have to remove this fuel pump off of the stock hanger. If you get a brand new Walbro fuel pump, it normally comes with a plug on there that would connect directly to this plug. When this fuel pump was installed, it was installed in the OEM fashion where you ground the fuel pump to the hanger itself and then there's one wire, which is the power wire, going up through the fuel pump hanger to the top here. So what we're going to have to do here is convert the wiring back to how it would be when you buy the Walbro pump. So we have a plug here with the pins and everything. So we're going to have to put this plug on the fuel pump so that we can connect it directly to this plug when we put the fuel pump on this hanger. So in case any of you run into this same problem, you can find the plugs online. So this was a complete plug kit here with both sides of the plug. To be honest, I'm not even sure where I got this from. It just ended up in our spare parts. <laughs> if I can find a part number or the actual website where you can get this from, I will put it in the description below. So I'm gonna match it up here how it would go on and the positive is labeled A on this plug so we got to make sure to put the positive in A. Red with red, black with black. So on the stock fuel pump hanger this is a stock style of a fitting that has this plastic clip inside of it. So Radium provides this fitting that if you wanted to use your stock lines, you could. So on the stock lines, it's a fitting just like this. And this would just clip on there. And you could put this into this hanger so that you didn't actually have to change your stock lines if you don't want to but you want to run this fuel pump hanger. Since Sean has the 6AN lines we're gonna switch out this fitting to a 6AN which Radium also provides. Radium's fittings are swivel fittings so once you install them they can move in any direction. To tighten them you just tighten this here and then this will swivel even though this is tightened. This one nice. So this hanger is made for two fuel pumps but since Sean is only running one fuel pump that's why this hole here is blocked off. So if you were running two fuel pumps, you'd have two of these right here. So this fuel pump is going to go in here. And if you notice, this is really nice. They put a cutout here for the wires. And I know that with the stock hanger, it's always a pain in the butt to figure out where to put the wires. And I always feel like the edges are gonna like cut the wires or something, but this, is really nice to have this cutout right there. So the one fuel pump would go here and I can only assume that the other fuel pump would be on this side of the hanger, but we only have the hardware for one fuel pump. I'm only assuming that it would go over here because that is where this other port would be 
to connect to the fuel pump. And then obviously you'd have two plugs, which you can see here. There's pump one, pump two, and on the inside, this is connected here, which is pump one. But if you had the second pump, it would connect here, positive and negative. They share the negative. Let's make sure it's straight. Yes, please make sure it's straight so I can sleep at night. A little sleep with one nonsense. <laughs> Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, watch this out. Oh. I'll be back. <laughs> We're gonna reuse the OEM fuel pump hanger seal. You can get this seal brand new from Honda or Acura. Perfect. All right, so we're all ready to go, ready to put it in the car. Everything has been tightened. Oh, we didn't put the fuel filter on. <laughs> so you just pop the filter on there and then use one of these retaining clips to hold the filter onto the fuel pump. So we're gonna have to do the wiring on the inside of the car. We're gonna have to put terminals on the wiring and then these go here and then the nuts go on top of these to secure the terminals. There's three of them. Well, you only have one pump, so you won't be using this one, but we can put the cap on there. And then this is for this one. You can just put it on there for now so we don't lose it. And then those brand new tens. Shiny. I'm so excited for tens, but they're tens. Yeah, but they're not rusty. They're brand new 10 millimeter nuts. Like, how many people can say that they got brand new 10 millimeter nuts? Everybody got rusty nuts. Everybody got rusty nuts, believe me. <laughs> well, most people have rusty nuts. People call it rusty nuts, but it's actually experience nuts. <laughs> Think about it. Oh my god. Alright, so we're running into this problem where this will not go down. So we think that it might be the filter. We thought it was a good idea to use the OEM filter, but we're gonna try the filter that was provided by Radium. It turns out that the OEM filter is too long and prevents the fuel pump hanger from going down flush. So we're gonna try the filter that was provided by Radium and I'm pretty sure that that will work. Take two, let's try this again. All right, problem solved. Now it goes down flush, so it was the filter. So take note, you have to use the filter that Radium provides along with this fuel pump hanger kit. Now for the shiny 10 millimeter nuts. looks so nice in there. It does. Swivel fittings. All right, now we gotta hook up the wires. So we gotta get terminals on these. Okay, bun me up. Y'all didn't see that, but he had this heat gun that was just on this close to my leg. Yeah, gonna burn me. You pay attention. You was gonna burn me. You were the one not paying attention. Good thing I was. Otherwise, my pants would have a big hole in it, and my leg would be crispy. Welcome to the dark side. <laughs> That's how you get to the dark side? By getting burned by a heat gun? <laughs> That's a secret. Don't tell anybody. That's a secret? <laughs> Listen, if I were former president, I could tell you, sprinkle racks up your nose or blow dry up. 
I guarantee you that's how they get to the dark side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Burn yourself with a heat gun. I just see some fool of people do it. The thing will say, oh, I'm a Gemini. I don't know if I trust you with that heat gun. <laughs> It's a dangerous weapon in your hands. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So which pump you on? I'm going to tell you, tell you one. one. You, you sure? I'm positive. 100%. You sure it's not pump number two? <sighs> See? Oh, you wish you had a pump number two. No, sir. I take it like <laughs> you. I want to be greedy with horsepower mashing up every six months. <laughs> Remember, what engine, what engine bill you want? Number four? That's um, a lie. Okay, number three. That's that what is, engine bill you want? That is a lie, folks. That is I'm a on, lie. I'm still on the same engine from 2012. <laughs> 2012. Some of you can say, oh, it's because you're all motor. No, because I changed oil by color. I only have a new build because of CSS. Nothing's wrong with my old motor. My old motor is still sitting in the garage put together as a spare motor. Nothing is wrong with it. Look how easy that is. I know, and it swivels to the right position. Ooh. Just put this one on there so just in case you're out of pump too. You got the nut on there. Don't lose that nut. You think this is an eight? <laughs> it's not a ten. It's not, it's a, not six. a six. Is it an eight? Oh, happy days, Mama! <laughs> Are you wishing you were hooked up to that one? You're tightening it. Boy, too. I'm satisfied with my <laughs> Don't worry. Soon, soon he gonna be adding a pump number two. Not me. The pump is <laughs> 700 horsepower. <laughs> I really want four. Look how good that looks! Just look at it! Nice! Fire, boy. I can't wait to turn on the lines PTFE Yeah, you gotta change the PTFE. So now that everything is installed and tightened, we're going to turn the key on and check for leaks. I think we're good. I don't see anything. Everything's tight and good. Cycled the pump a few times and no leaks. so we got it all installed no leaks everything works thank you guys so much for watching this video i really hope that you enjoyed it i hope that it explained everything about installing this fuel pump hanger i hope you guys are interested in going and getting one for yourself because the quality is very outstanding like radium does a super good job with their products and i mean it's always like superb quality i'm i'm always impressed with their products hopefully in the next video to be some kind of progress about my car i'm super excited to get my projects rolling and get everything together so stay tuned for that if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and i will catch you guys in the next video peace